Hello, welcome back. This is Stormy Cloud 21. And today I wanna to show you another amazing collection piece. Here we have the Jurassic World Legacy Collection Isla Sorna Capture Pack. Very cool stuff. This is an amazing vehicle that we have here, other than the Jeep that we've already got. But we've gotten a couple of different Jeeps and now we have here this nice figure and this nice Parasaurolophus, or as I like to call it, Parasaurolophus, because I don't like saying it that way. So I just say it the way I want to say it. <laughs> so looking right here, here's your UPC. There's your beautiful Parasaurolophus, Parasaurolophus, whatever. Um, I've already pulled out the scan code for now. There is Roland back there. Really cool. Try to focus on him and zoom in a little bit. Very cool. This set comes with these three missile projectiles. And then you have this really nice um, vehicle right here with a cool action feature, which I don't know when I get it out of the box, maybe it'd be better. And it was when I first opened it, but now when I press this button, instead of pressing straight in, it's almost like I have to angle it and press it quickly for the feature to work. So I do that. There you go. And then it is really amazing looking in there. Even has a place for a cup holder which I actually may have some cups that actually might work with that from Star Wars. There's uh, the uh, steering wheel over there. Look at all that. And then I'm going to pop this back into place. It's all gonna have, also going to have a place to fire the missile. We'll show that in the future. Snap that back into place. Loving these tires. And then I'm going to open this soon. Before I do, there is that action feature I just showed you. And then going over here, information on the scan code. That nice ground, like in the movie, of these nice trees, the nice blue sky with the clouds. Very nice, well done, for liking it. And now looking at the back of the packaging, there's his name, Roland Timbo. There's Roland operating this to fire the projectile. Seat slides out, launch, Jurassic World. DNA scan code information. Future figures in the line. Your Parasaurolophus, as I like to call it. And then up here, you have the, the Legacy Collection logo. Right here, you have that UPC. Over here, you have a very beautiful picture, black and white, of the vehicle firing the missile. Here is where we're going to start opening to get this vehicle out. And I was blessed enough to get this in a store. Not everybody will be right yet, but I was blessed enough to be able to do that. I didn't have to pre-order and I'm so thankful for that because it's a lot quicker to find it on my own. So now let's open this up and take a look at it. So I got everything out and I guess you could say I mostly saved the packaging. So here is Roland Timbo. The great hunter. The guy who wanted the T-Rex. Who wanted to hunt the bull. This is nice. This is a nice
See his arms articulating. And then out like that as well. Then you can articulate that head some. And his hat, it's very rubbery around the edges. That's cool. You can see he has a bend at the knee. Almost looks like it's going to bust off, huh? <laughs> articulation. Articulation right there. And he has a really nice watch on. Probably a Rolex. Yeah, it looks like they kind of um, could have done better right there. It's very not noticeable. If you look at my figure underneath the hat, that could get creepy fast. But it's not terribly noticeable if you did something like this. Now, here is the back. So there is your Roland, Roland Timbo, the great hunter, looking for a chance to hunt the T-Rex, the bull. The guy who wants to set up base camp and not a buffet. And as for my fee, he said, you can keep it. I just want a chance to hunt the T-Rex, the bull. And now here we have the Paris or Olophus, Paris or Olophus, or Paris or Olophus, which sounds a lot better. Oh yeah. I like this. This is a very nice dinosaur to add to your collection. Look at that articulation of that head. You could actually really just go all the way around if you wanted, if you desired to do so. That is so cool. The mouth is already open, and an open stance. That is very neat. And there's those yellow eyes painted on there. I love this uh, glossy feel. This is very nicely done. All this paint, these colors, the light brown and the darker browns. The leg can move back like this or forward like that. This leg can move back like this or forward like so. This arm could move forward and back. This arm back, forward. There is no paint on the fingernails of this dinosaur or on the toenails of the dinosaur. Nonetheless, it is a very cool figure. The tail has some articulation as well, not much. And then this, of course, is where you can open to get your DNA code for your dinosaur. And then flipping it around, there is the Jurassic World T-Rex logo right there. And then flipping the figure over on the bottom there, you can see they took time to put the logo on there as well and to detail the bottoms of the feet. There's underneath the dinosaur. And here is on top. I love the extra attention to detail, how they even bothered to paint this very nicely on the top of that, up there on the crest. So beautiful, so nice. The wrinkle folds, all of that sculpting looks very, very beautiful, very nice. They did a very excellent job on this figure. This set comes with three missile projectiles. And 
I'm going to pull out the, the vehicle. Next, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So as I zoom out, you'll notice under the vehicle, these are still attached. No problem. I pulled out the other thing holding this onto the packaging. You just pull that off like so. Pull that off. You could still stick those back in there if you wanted. If you have your vehicle on supports in the future, there is the information right there. Looking underneath the vehicle, the wheels are connected right here so that they both spin at the same time. And this is very, this is black. All this is black underneath here. Very nice wheels. They are plastic, not rubber, but they look very rubber. And that is so cool. Now, on the front of the vehicle, I like this. This is another plastic wheel in the front, and it is very cool. It's fun to spin that. They did a good job on mine on the um, decals for the most part. This is slightly a little crooked right here, but whoever set this up to put these decals on, I love how they've added these new little notches to help who's putting the sticker on get it more registered because I think that's kind of funny how they did that. It forces someone to put the sticker on right. Looking up here, you can see they added these little notches as well so that the sticker would go on there better with these lights. And this is some bars for protection. Engine. I know that's not how you spell it, but that's how you spell it in this company. Engine. And then here you have engine on the side. Then looking around, you can look inside the vehicle. Have this nice pad right here with electronics. A nice place for the driver to hold on that controls the action feature. Look how behind here, behind these seats, they have taken out some of the plastic to save on cost um, when they molded this. So that's like a hollow seat back there. Here is a seat for the person, people to sit in the back. Here has an up, another uh, couple of nice cup holders. I think you could fit the Star Wars glasses in there for 3.75 in, inch figures, possibly. That is possible. And then looking over here as well, you have this nice steering wheel. Is the other side of the vehicle, the driver's side. They uh, put these little stickers of the taillights. They slightly messed up on uh, registry right there. It looks like at the top there, but you can barely tell. There is a gas tank right there. And then a lot of people don't know this, but these little missiles, you can store them. A lot of people don't know yet because they don't have this quite yet, but you can actually store your little missiles right here. You want to keep them out of the way. There is a good place to put them. And then let's show you this little action feature. Now mine is a little different. When I first started pushing it, it worked better. When I, a little later, it was a little harder. So I just kind of quickly push it. It comes out like that. There's the seat with the controller. Then you just look underneath there. See, when you start to slide this back in, like that. See, and the button tends to want to go in like that. So I just kind of go give it a quick push and everything works out fine. This is a top view of that vehicle. Again, here is the back view of the vehicle. 
Here is a side view. Here is a front view. Here is the other side view. And then of course, here is underneath the vehicle for you. So then you're going to take your Roland figure, get him ready or other action figures that they've already released. It is a little hard for his hands to wrap around there. So I'm just gonna kind of rest them like he's holding the controls for now. Very cool. And I'm gonna launch him out to the side. There you go. And he stayed in his seat just like he's supposed to. Now, also, I'd be remiss if I didn't bring up this. You can take this projectile and you stick it in there like that. And we're gonna push this button right here and we're going to launch it, ready? And that thing, oh my gosh, that went like a whole seven feet away. So yeah, that was cool. Um, let me go get that. Oh, and watch this. I can open this and then I can stick the projectile in there again, like that. And I don't know what the heck that was that shot off. And then I close this and you can also store your projectile in there as well, as well as the two on the back. And so I don't have all the available vehicles yet, but I do plan on getting more. This was the Dennis Nidri Jeep right here. And then this is a different Jeep that came before that. Very cool. And then of the vehicles that have came out, you have this nice vehicle right here in the past. And then you have this motorcycle. There is also plans for another motorcycle that is already out in another set that you can get. And then of course, we've had this nice Ford Explorer which is my ultimate favorite. And then there's another vehicle right now, but I'm not really after that one, a very large vehicle. And it is nice to have this dinosaur, this younger version now, this juvenile, with this Kinner, Parasaurolophus, Parasaurolophus, Parasaurolophus. So it is cool now to have these two together and soon the Hammond Collection version as well. But for now, in hand, loving the nostalgia of having these two dinosaurs together. A very cool fit. But anyway, this is such a beautiful set. I am so glad to be able to have it so as always thank you for watching this video this is stormy cloud 21 please check back often to see more cool videos coming up soon remember to hit the like button and the subscribe button and the notification bell until the next video until we meet again Thank you for watching and talk soon.